Hey everyone, Pastor Paul here. I want to bring you an encouraging word today. So why am I wearing this hard hat? Today is September 11th, 19 years since the terrorist attack on our country. And today I just want to remember that a little bit. I got this hard hat because right after 9-11, I was a senior in seminary. One of my professors grabbed uh, myself and a couple of students and we headed to New York to volunteer at Ground Zero with the Salvation Army as chaplains. We were there at the site uh, was smoldering, it was burning, and uh, we simply had a cross on our, our helmets and we would hand out coffee or refreshment and provide a listening ear if needed. It was, certainly was a, uh, a powerful, life-defining moment for me as a, a young pastor. Um, and, I, and I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. Some great lessons came out of that for me. The first was, is that it, what can we say as Christians in response to great suffering? Well, we have a lot to say. And the reason we have a lot to say is because on the cross, Jesus Christ, God with skin on, entered in to an act of great suffering, terror, and pain. Jesus bore our sin on him and died a painful death so that we might know that God is not ignorant or ignoring or, or not compassionate towards our suffering in this world, but that God has provided a solution. God has provided a way to bring us hope, to redeem us in the midst of that great suffering that is caused by sin and evil in this world. So as Christians, we can speak uniquely to the suffering of this world because we have a God who suffers with us and for us on the cross. That is a truth of our claims in Christianity that is unique among all world religions. Secondly, I learned a lesson from that experience of a great truth, that we have a God of profound hope and love. One of the steel workers at that site, I've shared this before, but he cut out a cross out of World Trade Tower 1, gave that uh, to myself, gave another one to one of my friends, and said, go from here and proclaim that Jesus Christ is bigger than this. Jesus Christ is bigger than this. What a truth for us to remember now, right? We're facing a global pandemic. It's a defining moment for us as a world, just like 9-11 was for us as a nation. But we need to remember that truth, that Jesus Christ is greater than this, than any event in human history. In this world before, we've been through wars, we've been through plagues, pandemics, genocide, and we have a God of love and grace who meets us in our suffering and has provided a way of salvation and love that is greater than any experience, any evil, any hardship that we can possibly face in this world. In fact, because of his love, we can be strong, we can have peace, and then we can actually work uh, to be his agents of love and healing, forgiveness, and grace in the midst of great injustice. So I just wanted to remind you of that today. It's something that I've been thinking about is who I am in Jesus Christ and what it means to, to go forth in this world filled with his hope and his love and that knowledge that he is a big God. He is in control and he is with us even in our darkest hours. So God bless you today, wherever you're at, in Jesus' name. Amen.